Hello YouTube and welcome to another plot review video and in this video we're going to be reviewing Turtle Fire's Ice Plot which is right in front of me if I press the right button there we go so we'll just take a look at his signs that he's got posted outside here we've got a uh, Ice Hobbits interesting okay uh, terrain was made by somebody else so that's going to be a down point in this um, especially if you're going for Grand Builder rank, Architect rank, you definitely need to do at least 90% of the plot by yourself. And if somebody else has done the terrain, um, that's going to be more than 90%. Um, plot collection, don't get what that means. What else do we have? P time, night. Details you can find. Sub to nerd underscore times two underscore gaming plot by total fire. Okay, so we'll have a quick look around in, and I'm guessing this is the entrance. So we'll have a quick look around in P time night, just because you know he has asked us to. But I'm not holding my breath. I don't think it's going to look too great. So we're coming through here, and this is really really nice. I like this as an entrance. <clears throat> Um, I've said before in other videos that you need an entrance to a plot just to quickly immerse the player um, into what the plot is. So we've got lots of gold all around, and like in the last plot review video that I've done, it's only gold ore. Uh, the last one there was coal, gold, and iron, um, all in one cave. So you want to try and keep keep it realistic, so you will only have one um, ore vein in one mine. So he's, he's stuck with gold and it's, you can actually almost see like a straight line where it's been cut through where it's like over here and over here so it's cut through and they've dug past it. So that's quite good, that's nice and detailed and you've also got these pressure plate textures here. It's the, okay that's a glass block texture. Yeah, weighted pressure plate, uh, different biomes, you get shovels, pickaxes and stuff like that. Uh, he's actually gone for an axe instead of a pickaxe. He's got a pickaxe there. I wouldn't have gone for an axe. A shovel, I can understand. A pickaxe, definitely. But a, an axe, not too sure about that. And then we come out here into the rest of the plot. And... You know, I'm going to turn it to daytime in a second. So we'll just have a quick little fly through this little ravine here. You see bits of light and then over the top. Okay, so my first impressions are that this plot is quite uh, empty. And I said, coming in here, there was a bit of nice atmosphere. You get immersed in the plot. And then you came out here, and instantly, because you've got this big open gap here, and you can see, you know, the framework of a uh, space shuttle over there, and you've got this, these over here, it just instantly loses its atmosphere. So... You know, maybe carry the rock on, maybe don't have it so big here, the river, maybe have it a bit shallow or something. You just, you need something to block the line of sight from that direction. Uh, another thing, uh, you've got some randomization here in this little walkway. Maybe add a bit more, and you've got one bit that goes down. Maybe Again, maybe add a bit more of that, just to make it a little more interesting to the eye. Uh, looking round, what else do we have? The water, I really like, you know, with the bits of ice and you've got the icy um, lily pads. Makes it look really good and I like the way, you know, it's really frozen up here but starts breaking down and breaking down. What you could have done is maybe more of a gradual breakdown because it sort of gets to here and that's where it's all broken off. So maybe, you know, add a few more bits of water channels so it's like gradually getting thicker and thicker the ice as you go up the ravine that would make it a bit more interesting and you know what what's all this about how many times do I talk about this in plot review videos and in plot videos you really need to uh... okay that's interesting you've got player head is that a player head? I'm going to assume that's a player head yeah, player head. A lot of people have been doing this recently on the server, you know, using player heads for animals, like fish and birds and stuff. 
here it actually works I think it actually looks pretty cool uh, but you also you really really need to do the terrain underwater it, you never will you find a river that's going to be just dirt you know you're going to have sediments which are going to be represented by gravel or the gravel coal on one which is the debris texture you've also got mossy stone you've got icy stone you've used some metadata and I think you could have got away with using some more but if you didn't actually do the terrain if that was somebody else then that's their fault but then it's also your fault for getting somebody else to do the terrain and not fixing it up yourself so we come around here and suddenly this path ends so for actually a walk around this is all you actually get to see on the plot without having to go on the ice so we'll go risk our lives across the ice I like you've got the packed ice mixed in here as well um, that's quite nice come in here Okay, so we've got a really good storage area in here maybe use slabs here instead of logs just to get that extra bit of depth of like half this log showing and maybe put a pillar down or a pillar here and a pillar here you know just to show a bit more um, stability in the structure of the building we've got a nice block of cheese I'm gonna have to start using playheads aren't I everybody seems to be doing it these days um, pumpkins and melons got some wheat and stuff so this is quite a nice little storage area although I think it's too open um, and you know you've got different materials like the cheese you want to keep cool and dry same with a lot of the uh, veg and all of this but then you've it looks quite warm and cozy in here you've got all the um, torches and stuff out of wouldn't use wood, I would have used a stone texture for there and just separate it with two extra pillars, I think that will look quite nice ok so that's about it for that there's nowhere to go so once we stop lagging out we'll try and find out where to go next this is something that's bothering me about this plot Is there's, there's no sort of never mind, I'll, st I'll stop talking I was about to say there's not really any direction to go but you've got a ladder, you've got a door so these people really do live on this river does that suggest that the uh... why not take a swim because it's cold and I'll die that's why um, it didn't seem to have any direction to the plot with people living on the river does it stay winter all throughout the year because if it gets if you get spring and summer and all the ice melts then that doesn't really make much sense to have a house where you can only access it by water I will strike again I don't think so you're dead so this is really good using redstone and again pressure plates to get the bones textures and the skull head it's a nice little touch there a lot of people um, tend to do this and I've done it in one of my plots but it was a P- minus plot just doing a small cave with some bones and it's good but it needs to add it needs to add something to the plot it can't just be there just because it, it looked cool in another plot and you want it to be there it needs to make sense to the plot so hopefully there will be something else in the plot to suggest why there's a dead person down there so we've got this this is quite a nice idea having like a caved in house um, I'd like to see a bit more structure maybe have these logs coming out a block or something um, but that's a nice idea just like a collapsed house show that it's not all perfect round here and it is a hard life to live Nick leave a review please that's what I'm doing um, so you could definitely tell the Hobbit theme I completely forgot about that but it's coming through now with all these arches do I think it works in this environment I'm not too sure not really but you know it's it's something different and different is quite can be good sometimes I like this using the ladders here and at the top as well adds a little bit of detail without actually taking too much away far too many torches you get rid of I always use glass there how's he used glass there or is it glass there I'll put it back clicking on the wrong bit so put that glass back there 
but I would get rid of all these torches. You only need maybe one per room. Depends how dark your brightness is, but it's just far too bright in here. And you've got this candle and you've got all these torches around. And there's just really, really no need for it at all, in my opinion. Um, you've got this big table in here and it looks sort of like a pub. You've got all these games things and bottles of beer and stuff like that. And then a bed. So, I don't know, brothel? I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. This is, seems to be like a big communal, maybe eating area, pub type thing. And then you've got the bed. It just doesn't quite make sense to me. And something else I've not seen in this house yet. A fireplace. Look how cold it is out there. You definitely need some form of heating. Again, this storage room. Not bad. Quite a lot of detail in it. But same as the last one. Just needs that extra edge to it. Um, and this looks like another storage area, but maybe more of a food. Pro I don't know. Oh, you've got hanging meat, and then you've got cheese and fruit and stuff. And this is very unhealthy. Um, could get lots of horrible pains and stuff from eating this food around here. So yeah, looking at this house, you've got two really big food storage areas, and then you've got what, some games tables and a bed. You need a fireplace to heat up the people who have been working on the cold ice all day. You need a kitchen area to prepare the food. You need uh, a chill out area, which you've got here, but separate to the bedroom. Come on, being, people had the privacy. Even in medieval times, people still had a bit of privacy. Uh, so let's go up this ladder then. What's up here? Got a little staircase and a very pointless little banister over there. You know, one there. And what what's this holding up? You can easily fall off there, but then you've got a bit of wicker stopping some wood. Not too sure. So this is quite nice. You get a little overview. The terrain needs a bit, quite a bit of work. It looks quite heavily world edited. Like here you can see a big chunk and right here you can see a big chunk. It just needs a little bit of a little bit more cur going over the top of this cliff and adding a bit more depth here and there. Even using metadatas, they seem quite sparse. Uh get a good mix in there. Especially if the dark and light stone would look really good I think with this terrain, so use one call on six as well, that'd look quite nice I think. A uh, very simple bridge design, again, um, let's just check underneath, I like the use of the cobwebs, but again, uh, add some variation to the wood here, uh, it would just really help a lot, this path carries on, I really like this texture, what texture is it, 1 colon 4, so that must be a biome specific one maybe, but I really like that one, and we've got lots of different types of wood up here, so we've got all these felled trees, all these logs around and they've been cut up into these pieces of log. The only thing I will say is you've got all those logs piled up where have they all come from? I mean you've got all these spruce trees around and then you've got loads of oak logs around and you've also got oak logs in the houses and in the bridge so where's all the oak come from? Uh, also you need some tree stumps if you cut down the trees you're not going to take the stump out uh, especially in cold terrain like this, you would not have the um, time and effort and the materials probably to dig around the rock to get the stump out. So you know, you'd still have you know the odd bits of wood sticking out of the ground, uh, spruce wood, not oak wood. This little wall is quite nice, very basic, very simple, but quite nice. Uh, you could have added stir blocks and slabs to make it look a little more beaten down by the weather and a little more jagged at the top. Um, we've got another dead person up here. Seem very violent these hobbits, don't they? You know, we've got a skeleton down in that cave. We've got this person's dead over here. Uh, we've got a fallen tree. It's pretty good. Um, I like this idea. You could have used the cobblestone metadata's to add more depth to the trees. Have you used it in any of these trees? So you've used it here for the stumps and you've used it there. But use it for branches and use it for adding more detail to this felled tree as well. Uh, so we'll carry on. 
we've just come from up here and we'll go up 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 and this we've got this big ice thing and I'm not too sure what this is ice is frozen water why is there a big ball of water here uh, either mix it up with the ice like you have done that down there or make it look like a waterfall this looks like a nice little place for a waterfall down here but it has to make sense it has to like come from somewhere you can't just have it random otherwise it doesn't make sense uh, if you had more of these little blocks of ice around the plot maybe it'd look more natural and maybe that oh well that's just the style of the terrain that it, we're in this fantasy world where you get things like that but just on its own it doesn't quite make sense it looks a bit out of place and this wall here is far too flat and straight for me you know just even if you were to dig down like two or three blocks like that it instantly adds a bit more character and shape to the plot so think about doing that as well to improve so we'll carry on going up here a nice ball of snow that's okay um, again really really flat here and where's all this extra snow come from why is there a big pile of snow there but there's not really any it's all quite thin layers everywhere else uh, just little things it all adds to the realism in the plot um, carrying it on again even this wall just straight flat add some variation I know you've got the pillars there which are quite nice you definitely need an extra one here I think uh, and maybe you know jut it out one or two blocks jut it back one or two blocks add these stirs and slabs like I said earlier to make it look a little more flattened out and what have we got here right at the top where it's going to be coldest and windiest and stuff like that we have a forge yeah um it's a nice forge I really like the design on the you know the chimney you've got it in there a bit hard to actually get access to because you've got this cobblestone wall in the way and you've got the cool down to temper the steel but then you've got iron ore and coal ore and gold ore stacked around that would need to be refined the ore into actual ingots so you can uh, use it to craft stuff so maybe have a refinery around um, I'm not quite sure how well this works up here because like I said in a cold environment you've got hardly any trees around it's gonna get really bad weather up here you're gonna get really bad conditions and it's gonna be really cold and harsh so just add into the realism you've got more ore stacked around here I mean I can't tell if this ore is meant to be um, like they've collected it and stored it up here because that's where it's being used to work or if it's actually just randomly part of all the rock you know you need to really make that more clear whether it's supposed to be veins in the rock in which case you would never get coal iron and gold like this in a rock or if it's just piled up in which case it needs to be away from the rock slightly and you know just make it more obvious what it is and then up here got a little skull on some cobblestone so my overall thoughts on this plot it's got some potential it's got some nice ideas but you know you've got all of this needs doing you need to add a lot more purpose to the plot you've got some some detail especially the interiors they're quite well detailed although the house interior wasn't didn't quite make sense the exterior needs a lot of work um, these trees aren't too bad um, again try adding the cobblestone wall to make branches coming out maybe add some angle to the trees they're quite straight um, and definitely add a few more trees and some tree stumps uh, not quite sure what else to add to this uh, oh and definitely need a site blocker here of some sort now, I'm not too sure what that could be um, maybe have a big rock here maybe this is like the edge of a waterfall so you've got a big rock like the uh, falls of Raurus I think it is something like that in Lord of the Rings where I'm on Hennis so you know, something along those lines just add more stuff in general 
Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.